Hey everyone, Mango7Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. And today we're going to take a look at Wyvern 13. Specifically, we're going to take a look at Luluka and try out her new exclusive equipment there. We actually did this quite a bit on stream. And honestly, um, my results were not great, but uh, I didn't have perfect setups or anything like that. But you kind of shouldn't have perfect setups, right? Because most of you don't have perfect setups. So my not perfect setups is a good setup to show you the perfect setup that made zero sense but you know what i'm trying to say anyways we tried out lulica quite a bit today with all three of her exclusives uh specifically we tried to the lag today is real uh specifically we tried to use her um skill one double attack and we tried to use her skill three so she goes twice as well we tried both of those out um, with her skill 3 doing decreased attack and her skill 1 doing uh, two attacks at once. And I wasn't really happy with either of them. So uh, I, I know I was asked a ton if she was worth using now and whether or not you should use her in Wyvern 13 and how much her EEs helped her and which to use. So let's just do two runs or three runs or four runs, however many it takes, to uh, get a couple runs going here and just showcase their shenanigans so i'm actually gonna do her on um sierra ren right now just to get it a little more consistent uh if i had a more of a choice here i would definitely run her with uh more damage slower and joker with the double attack one instead but i found myself just losing so much because i didn't land debuffs that sierra ren might just be a little more consistent uh, as you can see by my team right here, I ended up kind of just giving up on her and going to a different team instead and using Terranor Guard instead of her. So unfortunately, the TG team was much, much better than the Luluka team. So uh, there's that. And I'll show you all the stats after if you're looking for the stats. End of the video here. I was going to do it earlier, but I forgot. And now I can't anymore because of the lag. So we'll do this. Um, we were also trying the uh, Karin team as well uh, instead of TG. And I feel like it was a little more consistent, but I'm not really sure. Uh, we also tried with and without the skill 3 up for Lulika. And the reason why we ended up turning her skills off is because we are using uh, Misty Chain right now. And one of the great parts about Misty Chain is he helps, she helps you survive the first phase of this. Uh, without an AoE with the first phase of this stage, you just randomly die sometimes because you don't kill it fast enough. But with Misty Chain and her healing, she helps you get through this phase much easier without any uh, like massive problems with people dying. And you can see my Luluka doesn't really do much damage right now. I'm kind of relying just on my Misty Chain for damage. Um, but if we didn't have Misty Chain when I was running Alexa instead of the Luluka, I was using a skill 3... Uh, on for Lulika and we'll do a run like that too just so you can see and the reason is again you clear out that first wave so fast and depending on your defense breaks you you have a better initial start here so we're going to start off with Lulika hoping to get a landing debuff so we got the defense break that just means we need a bleed right here we did get the bleed so that means we're not dead not being dead is pretty good uh that's the other problem right now my misty chain has no effectiveness so she theoretically had two chances to land debuffs there so even if we failed our first two we would have still had that um but unfortunately with her current effectiveness i just couldn't get it set up in time um and then she's gonna auto attack for two turns so as long as we keep these debuffs going it'll be set and uh we'll also see with the double skill one attack here from lulica we'll get a ton more damage in uh when she's actually built right like this right here if she's on um, Joker with a, a better DPS set. She does like 60,000 damage or so, which is a ton. And you just melt the Wyvern, but it does make your first turn inconsistent um, depending on your uh, your Misty Chains turn one. A lot of this sounds really confusing and I'm really sorry, but there's so many different variables, right? Like with Misty Chain, if uh, your turn or your, your wave one goes a certain way, she starts off the battle auto attacking. And what that means is her auto attack has no debuff, so you have to land both a bleed and a defense break. So, um, wow, 502 HP. Are you serious right now? 
So I think we actually are going to lose here unless we land a defense break. We did. We did, so we're mostly fine. Oh, we got the we got the combo attack too. We're we're super fine. So that was a run with this setup here. Uh let's actually switch to her other setup as well. Um, this is not super consistent. I would say like 75% win rate, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. And again, we're using two level 50s, so that would be much better if we had them level 60 instead. Uh, and stats fixed out a little bit, but it's just kind of cool to showcase these two EEs here. And um, I actually liked this setup too, the decrease attack. Uh, but with when I go decrease attack, I also kind of need to go Joker instead. And there's a bunch of reasons for that. One being with decrease attack and... Uh, and the Misty Chain healing with this setup, we make it so um, Pergus doesn't die, and then Pergus goes too many times during the Wyvern Shield phase, and then we just barely don't have enough damage to burst through, so that's why we added the Joker to the Luluka. So confusing, I'm sorry. Uh, but this stage also goes infinitely better. We also didn't have our skills on, so we're gonna reset here. Uh, and she will defense uh, buff up as well, which doesn't really do anything. But usually when she does it, it's at a time that doesn't really matter, right? Like, you'd obviously rather have a skill 3 or a skill 1, but it doesn't matter enough to really make a difference, I found. At least with this setup for me. Like, if you have it being used the first turn of the Wyvern Shield, that is super bad news, and you're probably not going to have a good time because of it. But overall, I'm, I'm really happy with this setup. Uh... Again, I do like the TG better than the Lulika in my current setup, but I think I can make the team work better with the Lulika. So it's something that I'm excited to try out. Uh, I do think these EEs were a little bit of a letdown, just a little bit. Uh, I, I think they tried to solve the problem with Wyvern she has. Like they obviously, with the way she handled her skill one, both of them being like direct boosts to, to try to solve Wyvern's problem with uh, Lulika but I don't think either of them addressed it at all. So it feels like she's not very much more consistent than she was before. And the main reason for that being, um, you kind of have to run her with another really, really, really consistent defense breaker like TG or Corinne or Clarissa. And if you run her with somebody like that, you're overlapping your skill one uh, debuffs already. And then on top of that, uh, you're taking away that other slot with more debuffs from somebody else, which makes your first turn a little more inconsistent. And then on top of that, if you want her to do damage with uh, Joker, you're taking away Sierra Ren. So it's just a whole lot of shenanigans they could have just easily fixed by making her skill to do literally anything, uh, which would have been fantastic. So I personally like this setup the most because it's the most fun for me and fun is really important. And once I fix gear up, I think this will be really consistent as well. Um, I could use Alexa instead of the uh, Misty Chain as well if you're looking for that. You can use whatever defense break instead of Corinne. You could use Furious. You can use Terranor Guard as well. There's a ton of things you can do. Um, and you can see here, I think we kill it pretty easily before the, uh, before the shield if we actually used a skill there instead of her skill too because... Um, we would probably have the defense break up right now instead of it being run out. We landed it anyway, and we would have the more damage. So, uh, I just wish skill 2 did something. So we're just barely... Oh, we didn't go fast enough either. That sucks. Just barely not fast enough. We can actually lose here. If we don't land defense break right here... Uh, we did. We did. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so I'm actually really excited with the showcase. I think both runs did okay. I think it shows that the skill 3 does work here. I think uh, she obviously needs to be level 60, and so does Corinne. Both of them do, and then this run is going to be really consistent. Uh, but right now, like, thinking about how much more damage she'd be doing with, like, a damage set gear and everything right now. We're going to lose here, unfortunately, because Perkis... No, we're not going to lose! We're the best! We just barely did it. Right? We just barely did it? Yes! Show it off for the squad. Good job, Corinne. I'm really excited to uh, to show these teams for you. And we'll check out gear in one second, too. Uh, obviously a slow run. Obviously better options. But if you're like me and just want to have fun with characters, 
Uh, this is a good setup. And my Luluka is not built for damage right now. Not at all built for damage. So I can super fix that as well. Um, and there's a lot of other different things I can do. Like I can make my Misty Chain. Uh, that was the wrong button. I can make my Misty Chain slower than my... Or faster than my G Pergus. And things would be great too. It'd give me another round of attacks. Your luck. I'll see you later. So let's take a look at the gear as well here. Uh, we have the General Pergus. All he needs is defense and HP. Uh, defense percent, HP percent. He's actually too fast. I would, wouldn't mind him a little bit slower. Uh, I also wouldn't mind getting rid of some effect resistance. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting rid of that because uh, we want him to be pushed back. And the effectiveness does nothing really too. So he's got a lot of wasted stats. Uh, these are his gear. If you want to see anything, just pause it right here. And again, um, while this is really good gear, a lot of these stats are wasted. Like we said, like the effect resistant we can do without, crit chance we can do without, speed we can do without. We really just need the defense and HP to survive. Same here, effect resistance, effectiveness, all kind of wasted stats for the specific scenario. So don't be um, scared about these when you look at it. Just get your HP and your defense up. We're using the combat readiness one here. We're using the proof of valor. Nice. We're using the proof of valor. And we have uh, plus two right here, and that's it. As for the... Uh, who else do we have? We have a thief, and we have... Actually, we don't have a... Th yeah, we do. We do have a thief. And two mages. So this is going to be the Misty Chain here. She's on pretty god-tier gear. But again, this could be improved. I could lower her damage and up her effectiveness to make this much better. Or you can just throw this set on Alexa instead. Um, these are the gears here. Good old 6.3k HP. Wowza! That's not enough HP. And then the Joker, of course. Uh, you could possibly run her on Sira Ren and then run a higher damage Lulika with Joker instead, but I don't know how safe that would be. Uh, here is the Lulika as well. These are her stats. Again, she's 5-star. Uh, she's on a pretty decent set. Like... We've got the speed here, but we don't really need the speed, so I'm going to be changing her just to pure damage after this, I think. With just enough speed to outspeed um, the the things in Wave 1, the Naga. I think they're like 170 or something like that. And then we have our Karin here on our plus 21 uh, Torn Sleeve here. You kind of need Torn Sleeve to make this work, but of course you can use Terranor Guard instead, or uh, Clarissa, or you could use... Um, who else could you use? Uh, the third one, Terranor Guard, Clarissa, Furious is the other one that's really fantastic with SOS. Anyway, uh, these are her gears as well. Uh, I would like to get her damage up too. That's something I'm going to be working on as we go for this free equipment removal, but this is just kind of the first stage. Anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope this helped you out as well. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to you folks later. Bye, everybody!